In Australia, the Game Boy's marketing was crippled, obviously because of the paedophile connotations. So dudes like me on the move, we had to embrace the links. And in a lot of ways, it is the better console. Full color screen, backlit, it's louder, more comfortable. And if you were left-handed, you could flip this thing. And I don't know any left-handers who owned a Lynx, but if I did, I imagine I'd love this feature. So both this and the Game Boy came out at the same time. And this is actually the second model, and you can tell just because it's so much more portable, you know? It's a really lean looking unit, awesome size, and it really fits well into your hands. The Lynx actually had a pretty sweet deal for a while. Totally the reason it sold so well, you know? They gave you like Batman based off the movie Batman Returns for free. And you know, what did the Game Boy owners get, like Tetris or something? For a console with a full color screen, it really set up this amazing dark atmosphere. You felt unsafe in the streets. And actually, you were pretty unsafe. The amount of deaths that happened in this game, it was pretty depressing. So the game, if anything, it expands on how cool the movie was. You know, the rush of it, you know, the panic, I guess. You get to go head to head with Penguin and then Catwoman on the top of the buildings using your fists, acid and batarangs. And look, it wasn't exactly in the movie, but you'll spend a bit of time punching Penguin strapped to rockets, you know, or throwing acid on them. And man, that's pretty brutal. This is like Batman's dark side, you know, the side that you don't get to see on the big screen. It's a pretty in-depth game, you know, getting to check out the locations from the movie and like handle the Batman. It's pretty obvious, you know, being a vigilante warrior of the night, it's no easy task. This game is tough and you've got to be pretty freaking skilled. Alternatively, really good at cheating. This game actually has a level skip and invincibility options. Invincibility? It's sort of what it would be like if you really were Batman, you know, so it's not really cheating because he always wins anyway. So to finish the game, you need to defeat Penguin in the ice sewer while Catwoman gets drowned in the background. It doesn't really matter if you save her or not, you know, because either way, once you beat the Penguin, you totally get 100,000 bonus points. So listen up dudes, if you think you can handle over 4,000 colors on the biggest portable screen ever, intense sound effects, and all the batteries it takes to power this beast, then step up.